There's an epidemic going on in the sports industry right now, and it's time we talk about it. Welcome to season four of the vlog. Isn't it crazy that we're here right now? Welcome back, everyone. Don't trust me. I see you're still doing your little vlogging thing. That's really cute. So I want to make a video about this. We've got some errands to run again. Apparently it's gonna snow tomorrow. Last night, Haley was mad at me because rightfully so. I yelled at her over the phone because I just wanted to have a night to myself. Which I was of course okay with, I don't care. The issue was he didn't say that from the beginning. He yeah. lied. No, I never lie. I was smoking that Bama pack outside. Haley's a Bama fan. It's been a good week for me. But we're gonna run some errands and I wanna talk about this because it's really been on my mind recently. I've seen a lot of crap on Twitter about it and I think it's important to address it. You love that bitch, you don't know that bitch. It's like having set prices on a dummy brick. You get good pussy once and then start cuffing it. Now, I wanna talk about this just because I feel like it's really spreading on Twitter especially. You know, just across the sport in general, there's just a toxicity from people um, if someone else is successful, they tend to step all over that person criticizing unfairly and unjustly. There's a lot of envy if someone else does something a different way than you. People speak out about it. Namely, there's one really big thing that I, has really been bothering me recently on Twitter. And that is when someone with a gimbal or, or someone else happens to get in your shop. And that, people are just being chastised for that. Criticized to proportions that are just not needed. Haley is in getting food at Flower Child. I'm just sitting in the car. Hopefully you can hear me better. I was just in the Macy's. Man, I've been seeing people like a couple weeks ago, there was a guy, don't know who he worked for, but it was like a Monday night football game. I think it was Big Ben's last home game in Pittsburgh. He ran out right behind Big Ben. And yeah, he was close to Big Ben. But like, man, access is changing. We do runouts all the time at MLB with players. People are gonna be places where they haven't been before. And you're gonna have to deal with that because it's not gonna change because that is what the fans want. Teams, leagues have the access. If, if, if it's good to go on a PR side, people are gonna do it, you know? I saw people like wishing the guy was careers over because he was probably doing what he was told. And yeah, he was a little close, but like, man, like Big Ben has run out of that tunnel a thousand times. There are 20 photographers doing the same exact moment. Come on, you really, you, I get being a little upset. People getting shots. It's just the nature of the game. You can't get every single shot. That's just how it works. And don't take the Twitter and wish this guy's career to be over. We're all about mental health until someone with a gimbal steps in your shot, you know? Cause it's been the same way for 50 odd years. Things are changing and you better get over it. I'm sorry, but people are gonna get in your shots. It's the name of the game. Bad luck to talk on these rides. Luke, it's your birthday, right? So for your birthday, we're giving you the vlog debut. Do you have anything to say? Hi. Oh, what? Is this like for real? I didn't pick the right shoes for this. Luke's struggling out here. No, no. Is the vlog live? What do you mean, is it live? Like, is it now being posted to your vlog? Is it now being posted to my vlog? Yeah. Like from right now? Yeah. Like right now, and as this instant. No, how would I be doing that? I'm not a broadcast team. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> as I mentioned, now that I have a ton of YouTube money, I bought a house. You guys see my World Series beanie? I was there. That's all that matters. It's chasing clout and sports. It's the only reason I do it. I'm kidding, but I'm serious. I'm gonna get deep with you guys, you know, in the middle of a serious, or in the middle of a joke, joking little, you know, part of this video. So many people are just there for the wrong reasons in sports, you know, just to post the Instagram stories, and I just see that negativity, I don't like it that much, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Are you filming this little vlog? <laughs> it is, yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> Speak 
clout chasing maybe isn't the best word to use in this scenario. Recently, you know, everyone in sports has been really like, you know, tweeting out things like athlete cliches, trying to like prove that they were the first to do this, first to be on the gimbal, first to do that, or I'm working harder than you. That whole mentality is just toxic in a way to me. You know, everyone's out there just to prove that, and I don't get that. You know, all of us worked hard to get to this opportunity and, and, and get these chances to be on a football field or on a baseball field. And we just need to be more positive in general. And like I said, we really need to get rid of that like God complex, I'm entitled to every single shot in every single game because people are gonna get in your way, man. Like people are gonna get in your way. It's just how it works. People are gonna step over that yellow line at the NFL game to block your shot. I've been on college sidelines before, they're packed, all right? People are gonna, broadcast guys are gonna step in front of your shot. Fans are gonna step in front of your shot. It's just the nature of it. Going on Twitter and complaining about it is not gonna do much. I, I get it, it's frustrating, because you know how many times it's happened to me? But nothing's gonna change that. It's not. You're in a crowded work environment. You can't control it. Overall, just we need, we need to be more positive, I feel like. That's, that's the general overarching theme of, of this video.